What would happen if you could stop worrying so much about what your team was doing all day and instead focus in on what you're supposed to be doing to move your business forward? Sounds like a dream, but right now you're living the nightmare of having to overcoach, overhandhold, and overcheck in on your team's work. Let's put an end to that and instead roll out super clear 5R work plans, drum beats, and more of my signature tools that drive accountability and self-sufficiency deep into your team. All you have to do is join a Leadership Lab program, and I'll help you turn your team troubles into triumphs. You'll be learning and growing alongside some peers that will become valuable business friends. So why not go beyond this podcast and join us? It could be the smartest thing you do this year. Book a call with me and see what program would best fit you over at the website, stackingyourteam.com slash programs. Welcome to Stacking Your Team, a show for entrepreneurs who are ready to step into the CEO role of their business by attracting and retaining key talent. Hey there, I'm Natalie Ekdahl, host of the Biz Chicks podcast. Our clients and community are rapidly expanding their businesses and need support as they stack their teams. Your incredible host, Shelly Warren, leverages her background growing and leading teams in multiple organizations, including a Fortune 50 corporation. So are you ready to stack your team? Here's Shelly. Hello and welcome to the podcast. It's the place to be if you're building an incredible team for your business. If this is your first time joining us, welcome. I'm so happy to have you with us. For those of you who tune in each week, you know that this is the place where you'll get many trainings on specific topics to help you lead with confidence. Regardless of the size or the complexity of your team design, I'm here to break it down into simple steps for you to reapply and impact your business. You'll also hear from women who are leading teams in their business and guests who will join us to share more insight on a specific tool or resource to help us all grow and lead. This podcast is different. You won't hear me refer to team members as thoroughbreds and donkeys or jackrabbits and turtles, like some others do. I call team members what they are, people. And hey leader, labeling people on your team is the quickest way to lose their trust and create a workplace wrought with fear and shame. And I know that's not what you wanna do. You'll also rarely ever hear me use the term employee, unless I'm referring to an employee manual. Because, well, that's the standard label in HR. And truth be told, I don't really like that either. Instead, you'll hear me talk about team members because, well, that covers all of us. It doesn't matter what role someone has or how long they've been with the company. If we work for a business or a brand or an organization, we are all team members. And it takes all of us collectively to make it all happen. Let's impact our team by using empowering language. And have you noticed that I don't use the word manager or supervisor either? Why? Well, because I believe everyone is a leader and that we don't manage people. We lead people. We do manage processes and systems and our spending and outcomes. But people deserve to have us lead them. And little by little, by walking our own talk and choosing language thoughtfully, we will impact how we make our team members feel. So today's topic is right up that alley. We're going to chat about team retreats. And we're going to break down why they're important to host. And for those of you who struggle with coming up with ideas for these kind of events, I'm going to share with you a few high-priced and low-priced option ideas for you to consider as you're designing yours. So come on, let's talk retreats. (music) 
Gathering up your team and bringing them together for a retreat or a team building day goes a long way in boosting morale. It can repair damaged relationships, foster good ones, and spark an atmosphere where the concept of one team is the basis of everything your business does. Some of you may be thinking that you can't afford to do such things and that maybe your team members won't even want to come, especially if they live across the country. Well, I don't believe that for one minute. There are lots of ways to host a team event that has minimal costs, and if you thoughtfully plan it, they will want to come, and you can be creative about how you'll get them there and how you're going to pay for it. We're going to cover off a full list of retreat ideas, and we will do that. But first, let's talk about why we need to host team retreats. Reason number one. As CEO of your business, you simply will not reach your goals without a team. You've got to stack a team for the long-term viability of your business. And once the hiring and the onboarding is done, it's not a set it and forget it kind of thing. You've got to inspire your team to stay, to grow, and to thrive alongside their peers as the business grows, shifts, and moves forward. So in order to sustain the ebbs and flows of your business growth, you need a strong foundation. And one of the basis of your strong foundation is your workplace culture. So team retreats can really help you create that strong foundation for your team culture to stand on. Your team members need to meet the people behind the job title and behind those project stats and see them for who they really are. It's when we can have fun together and brainstorm together and share a meal and a story and then rally behind a great idea. That is when your team will flourish. If we don't offer our team these kinds of experiences, we're essentially robbing them of learning who each other are and what makes everyone tick. And more often than not, we find out about a hidden talent or an attribute that we just simply didn't know about. And if you have virtual team members, it's especially important to spend some time with them. And hey, here's an idea. If you're already planning on attending an industry conference, why not invite some team members to come along with you? And why not kick off or wrap up the conference with a team retreat? You can pull together and set an intention for attending the conference. So listing out who you want to meet, what sessions you're going to go to, are you going to divide and conquer, and confirm what key problems are happening in your business right now so that you can really listen and lean in to capture some solutions while you're at that conference. And if you're going to wrap up the conference with the team retreat, gathering them all together to do a download on the key lessons that they heard and share the connect new connections that they found and talk about how they're going to put this all into play once they get back into the workplace can really really help you see and feel the return on investment of bringing your team to that conference. Because man, they're going to have new energy and new conference to be able to hit the ground running back in your workplace and put it all into play. Reason number two for hosting retreats is when you have some work you want the team to help you with. Some members of our Biz Chicks community charge a fee for their team to attend their retreat because they designed it more like an industry conference. So similar to what we were talking about in reason one. They also do not pay any team wages for their team's time of these events because their team members are contractors. So this type of retreat model is great if you're rolling out like a key mandatory concept that you are beholding to comply with from your industry or because your business might be a subsidy of an overarching brand. But however, let's talk about the most common situation for wanting to host a team retreat in our reason number two. Here it is. You are the CEO of your business and you want to acknowledge your team's contribution. 
celebrate results and roll out a new training or a new project plan. And you want to engage everyone on your team so that they can share their insight. You want to get them pumped up. Maybe you want to lead an intimate conversation about leadership with your team members who are taking on a new team leader role. So you want to reinforce that they're ready for this new role by giving them some examples, some trainings, and hearing all about their concerns. Maybe you're getting ready to open up a second location and you want your leadership team to assist in the planning of that major project. Right? (laughs) Because that is a big deal. And because you'll be pulled out of your normal day-to-day to focus on this new move. And you'll need a leadership team to support the ongoing operations during that time. So you'll want to lay out a plan and confirm who has the R for the key results, decision-making, and timing. Or maybe you've seen a drift from your standards across your team and you want to address it to understand the root cause. Here's some insight for improvement and you want to ensure that there's a high level of ownership for the plan. So you want to get everyone and your systems back on track. So this is a perfect theme to have for your retreat. Your team will want to attend knowing that you're set to lean into what the team's been tolerating, and lean into finding solutions to add some relief. And here's something else to think about that goes along with reason number two. What if you're that CEO who's just not present a lot? What if you're traveling across the globe, opening up new territories and speaking on world stages and pitching for funding? Or you're working on the ground, with those who provide you with your raw materials, or who are the ones that actually are going to design your infrastructure into your new launch in that country. If that's you, then it's even more critical for you to plan key moments where you'll be face to face with your team. So moving beyond that weekly video conference call or webinar or podcast, I was just talking about this during a strategy session with a client. When your business requires you to travel extensively and forces you to rely on technology to connect with your team, it's critical that you plan real time to be with your team in person so you can host conversations, provide coaching, and just catch up and generally support your team. It goes a very long way in nurturing brand loyalty and ensuring your team is still aligned with the philosophies of your brand. When your team feels connected to you, they will want to serve you and they will want to continue to reach the goals that move the business forward. It's just that simple. And reason number three for hosting a team retreat is the total team celebration. If this style of retreat is for you, then you know it's all about fun, laughter, and treating your team. Celebrating the close of a big project or a big launch is the perfect time to reflect on the sheer amount of work that was done and the revenue that it generated for your business or your clients. It can also be fun to have your client attend to kick off and openly thank your team for their contribution and tell them in your own words just how much you meant to them. You can also do this when you're batch hiring and when you want to kick off onboarding with a large group of new hires. Wowza, nothing says, man, I've hit the jackpot. Then when coworkers and leaders from all across your organization come out to share a meal and give all of your new hires a stellar welcome as they hear all about them as individuals. A little bit of swag, some snacks, and some inspiring words from your leadership team, including some handshakes, some smiles, and some guidance from their coworkers, can really set them off in a way that says, I've found my dream job. And yes, you can do this virtually too. Send-offs are also a great way to seal that final moment of truth with your team. When you have a team member who's going to retire or go off on maternity leave 
head out on a sabbatical or some mission work, or when someone decides to relocate, whether it's a promotion within your business or they're leaving to join another organization, here's your chance to bookend their career with you. You give them a great first moment of truth from day one and then close it with a great final moment of truth. All of these gestures, care, and support lead to lifetime brand loyalty and multitudes of referrals for others to come and work with you, buy from you, and maybe even join your team. Hosting retreats from a place of servant leadership where you are actually designing your retreat for the team, and that includes paying them to attend. They would receive their normal rate of pay during the retreat and you'd pay their travel and accommodations. That is the ultimate team retreat. And now before you panic and think, I can't afford that, let's break down some ideas for you to flip the script on this and look at how you can do this. So here are some low price options. Christmas shopping for a family dinner and a game night at a restaurant, or how about a scavenger hunt, laser tag, disco bowling, tobogganing, or lawn care for the elderly or a women's shelter, and maybe even a brewery tour, or an outside barbecue with some old-fashioned games, taking everyone to see a movie, or giving people some gift cards that they can take home so it impacts their family. All of these ideas I have done. Here's a few more. Skeet shooting, four-wheel driving, and axe throwing. Mm Mm-hmm, you can tell who my teams were at that time in my life. And here's some high-end options, or like mid to high-end options. Hosting a spa day, skiing for everyone, a mystery dinner, customly designed. Ray Walaska, who you can find in the coop, has a business in San Diego called Murder and Mayhem Mystery Tour, where she actually designs a mystery dinner using actual personalities from your team. What a riot. How about a cooking class for everyone or a sign painting class or an island tour or maybe even going to an escape room? All of these ideas are doable. And P.S., you don't even have to plan it. You can outsource the entire thing or have someone or even a few people on your team form a committee and plan all of your events throughout the year. What would you do now that you have all of your team together at a team retreat? Would you focus in on revising your mission? Maybe roll out a new direction for your business or plan a big launch? Would you roll up your sleeves and design a new product or service? Or would it be a total team celebration day? Tell me. I want to know. And if you'd like some help supporting you to design your team retreat, I'd love to help you. Just reach out to me at Shelly with an I at bizchicks.com. That's B-I-Z-C-H-I-X dot com. Or you can simply go to the website and click the work with me tab And let's book a strategy session and create a plan for your fabulous retreat that meets all of your goals and keeping it all within your budget. And did you know that we're currently welcoming new members into all of our programs? We have ongoing enrollment for all of our programs, and you can see the details of each of our three programs at the website, B-I-Z-C-H-I-X dot com and click the program tab. Natalie and I are astounded at the caliber of women we have coming together to collectively lean into their role as CEO and impact their niche in such a big way. So until next time, I want to give you a few other episodes to scoot back into and have a look at some of our other Biz Chicks clients and how they do retreats. Kate All from episode 19 was wanting to host a team retreat that packed a lot of punch for her executive team who lead specific aspects of Simple Pin Media. So check that out. Amanda Vaughn from episode 44 was wanting to host a team retreat 
specifically to invite key team members to take on the task of designing an in-house recruiting and training process. Well, because Amanda is always hiring and onboarding new tutors for her business, Connections Academics. And Sarah McKeague from episode 24 often hosts team retreats for her Pepper's Assistance business based out of Seattle. And she does it for her entire team with flair. So check out those episodes for even more retreat ideas. So until next time, remember, if you have a dream, you need a team. So let's get stacking yours today. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Stacking Your Team. Please click subscribe in your podcast app so you never miss an episode. And head on over to bizchicks.com slash join to get access to the private Facebook group we host for women entrepreneurs. The group is free to join. And when you do, you get access to the complimentary downloads associated with both of our podcasts. We include the links in our weekly newsletter. No matter where you have come from or where you are going, you are the leader your company needs and you are worthy of being CEO. Stay focused, biz chicks, and go stack your team. Oh, 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 oh,